Hi friends, today again we are with a poem of class 11. The name of the poem is Composed upon Westminster Bridge. Not Westminster, but Westminster Bridge. So, firstly, the poet. Who is the poet? Yes, this is William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth is the poet of the poem. English poet and World famous romantic poet. Famous poems. Tin Turn Abbey. O Dawn. Intimation of immortality and prelude. Yes. William Orsworth was a famous romantic poet. Also a famous sonnet specialist. He wrote in the style of Italian poet Petrarch or Petrarchian sonnet. In this poem, the poet has described has described the calm or S O M N O L E N T, Samlen, beauty of London city for calm at the dawn, early morning. The poet was going to Paris, Dover city. Before going to Paris has to cross Thames River, then Northern Sea, and he has to go Paris. Before going to France from England, he was crossing the Westminster Bridge. What is the bridge? Yes, this is Westminster Bridge. This bridge has to cross. The poet was not alone. He was on his coach, stagecoach. That means horse drove car. The poet was with his sister. Yes, this is Dorothy Wordsworth. The poet was with his sister Dorothy Wordsworth. The poet traveled many places but wrote later. But in this poem, he was so charmed, so pleased. He immediately wrote about the scenic beauty of London city for calm. So peaceful. So pleasant, the poet was pleased and immediately wrote. So the title of the poem is Composed Upon Westminster Bridge, September 3rd, 1802. Now go through the poem. Earth has not anything to show me more fair. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by. A sight of touching its majesty. This city now doth like a garment wear. The beauty of the morning, silent and beard. Ships, here the ships, ships, towers, domes, theatres and temples lie. Open up to the field and to the sky. All bright and glittering in the smokeless yard. Never did sun. More beautiful strip. In his first splendorous valley, rock or hills, never so I never felt a calm so deep. The river glided at his own sweet will. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep and all the mighty hearts is lying still. Here is the pun, lying still. The poet has described this poem, the sonnet, in two parts, octave and sestet. So, there are many broad questions. At a glance, a single, a single answer script will cover all the questions. You have to follow this. Question number one, five more question. Give the substance of the poem or critical analysis or scenic beauty or description in the octave or description in the sestet or how far the poem is a romantic poem or presentation through sonnet the beauty of nature. These all six questions would be covered in this way. First paragraph, introductory. In romantic poet William Wordsworth's poem, 
upon Westminster Bridge, the poet has described the scenic beauty of the city of London at sunrise. Yes. Second stanza or octave. According to the poet, the person who is not moved by the beauty of the city is simply unfeeling. The city's glad splendor of morning sun, the scenic beauties, the ship, the towers, the domes, theaters and temple are visible up to the outskirt of the sky for smokeless air. This is second chapter and octave. Sestet. In the sestet, the poet has regret for not enjoying such a beautiful thing. The beauty of valley, rock and hills. Lovely city before. The perfect silence moved the poet most. The river flows on gently. The houses seem to be asleep. In fact, the entire city is in profound slumber. Conclusion. Thus, through the simplicity and frankness and calmness of the theme, the poem is perfectly enjoyable. Sonnet. The poem follows the Italian model, Petrarchian model, the simple diction, metered style, reigns through the octave and sestet, the perfect sonnet of nature. This is the poem. In this way, we can cover whole the questions and all broad questions through pictures and poets' details. Okay, goodbye.